for this week's topic, let's discuss rod end bearings. Rod end bearings are quite common and very useful components in our home-built aircraft. It is literally a bearing at the end of a rod. They are used in many areas of our aircraft, providing a way to transmit forces from one area to another. The bearing consists of a ball with a hole in it that is pressed into a race. Pretty simple in form and function. There are five things we need to know as builders about using these bearings properly. Number one, why the jam nut? Have you ever wondered why you always find a jam nut installed on the threaded rod? It is not there to keep the rod from twisting out from the bearing body. As in most installations, the attachment points keep this from happening. For example, in this installation, the bearing and the rod cannot rotate as they are locked in place by their fixed attachment points. No, there is an important principle that must be addressed. The threaded joint of the rod in the rod and bearing cannot handle constant push and pull forces that are applied thousands of times. Note that with this rod threaded all the way into the body, there is still significant play or looseness when I push and pull on the system. The threads are not designed for this constant reversing motion. In fact, there is a military standard specification that states this eloquently. All threaded joints which carry critical loads shall be positively locked in the assembled position so that load reversal at the threads is prevented. Always use a jam nut to lock the threads in place. This is a must. Important detail number two. Be sure to securely clamp your components to the ball bearing in order to utilize the bearing. Some builders mistakenly make connections to the rod end bearing with bolts that are purposely set loose, even with castellated nuts and cotter pins. You don't want a loose fit or use any cotter pins. Make a tight connection to the bearing. It is a superb bearing, after all. The shank of attaching bolts typically should not be turning inside the bearing. Let the bearing do its work. Important detail number three. Use large washers under the bolt head to guard against the bearing falling out of the side of its body. Nothing is perfect, and if there were a failure such that the bearing fell out, could your bolt slip through the hole and result in the loss of a critical component, like an elevator? A simple addition of an appropriately large washer under the head will prevent this from happening. Important detail number four. Many rod end bearings have tiny holes at the base of their body. This is the witness hole. Its purpose is to allow you to easily check whether you have enough threads inserted into the body for a full strength connection. Check to see daylight through, or better yet, push a piece of safety wire in and see if it comes out the other end. If the hole is blocked, you have enough thread screwed in and you are good to go. If your rod and bearing has no hole, you may need to disassemble and look and see how deep the body is internally threaded and make sure that you use all of those threads when assembling for full strength. And finally, important detail number five. If you need to choose a rod and bearing for some application, where do you go to determine the specifications of a suitable unit? I am going to use the Aurora Bearing Company as an example of why using a manufacturer's catalog is a great method for selecting a proper bearing. 
as a quick glance will show all of the pertinent specifications about the bearings are depicted here. Start with selecting male versus female, left or right handed thread, the thread size, and other pertinent features. The ultimate radial static load is a key metric that tells us how much force the unit can take before failure. These types of specs can make quite a difference in the price you pay from one unit to another. Since we don't have a sponsor this week, I'll tell you where I buy my rod and bearings. McMaster Carr has been supplying commercial industry accounts for many years and has an enormous selection and inventory of all kinds of hardware components. Here you will find an amazing variety of rod end bearings in every conceivable style and size. Each bearing has an online data sheet showing its specifications so you can be confident about your selection. Simply click on the part number.